everyone, this is Dan Justice 77 here. Um, this is just a video on how to uh, properly set up your Elgato HD60 or HD60S or the old Elgato, which was the first one. I can't remember what that one was called. I think it was just Elgato. So, uh, the Elgato 1080, sorry, yeah. Okay, so what we want to do to start off with is if you're recording, make sure you turn off the preview. I'm going to leave it on for now. But yeah, when you're recording, turn that off. So uh, it stops a lot of the motion blur that you will get. Okay, so now you want to hit that little gear icon up the top here. And go to advanced tab and make sure you're using your graphics card currently I'm using the um, seven uh, sorry the 470 graphics which is gigabyte uh, so make sure they're both on that also make sure this is not all the way up to highest quality because you will get motion blur so make sure it's just on the second line here that will help you guys a lot. Uh, also, updates. There is a secret update which I'll probably upload another day. I can't actually remember how I did it. So I'll do that another day. Um, but here you want to make sure you've got all of these off because they will, as I said earlier, give you motion blur. It's all I have on this Pro. That's about it, so you can convert your files into MP4, which are a lot easier to use. Uh, also, you want to keep this one off. Use 1080 for iPhone and Apple. If you don't use your phone, then I wouldn't bother with that. Always convert file to MP4. Uh, webcam overlay I don't use, so most of these I don't use. I just use these two, which is live commentary audio and Elgato sound capture. Okay, so we're done there. Um, capture, you can pretty much just put it where you want to load it, like where you want your video to appear once you're finished. Uh, here you want to enable flashback recording and stream command. You want to make sure they're both unticked. So we're done with that one. If you have any trouble guys, just copy what I've got. But you must make sure you've got at least a computer that works properly. An i7 or i5 work perfectly. Okay, so now we're in the next setting tab. Here you want to, you pretty much set up here anyway. Just make sure that's on. Elgato, whichever one you have, um, allow 60 frames per second, I allow that because I have a pretty good computer, um, quality, make sure it's, uh, pro sorry, profile first, make sure that's on 1080, if you do get motion blur, drop it down to 720, and the quality here, make sure it's on good, so again, it's on the second bar, you can make muscle, huh? You can mess around with this to see what settings are the best of your PC. Now here, um, convert standard definition. I have that on. Search standard. Yeah, okay. I have that on, but I do not have allow 60 frames per second in review, which is this screen right here. I'd recommend you don't click that one on. Okay, uh, we're pretty much done this one. That's just colour if you want to mess around with it. I normally don't. So uh, we're done with that one. We're pretty much finished, guys. So let me show you how I record. I pretty much kill the review. Hit record. If you do have a mic plugged in and you're using a mic, make sure it's selected here. And um, 
Once you've done that, wait and loose, wait until 10 seconds, then hit commentary button. That should help without, because uh, it lags at the, <coughs> sorry, it lags at the start if you don't do that, or the video can freeze. So uh, there we go guys, I hope you um, enjoyed that quick sort of review on how I edit, or oh, sorry, how I have my settings set up. I will put a um, description of what is in my PC, so it will give you guys a better chance of figuring out how to get the best quality on your PC. So uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Please do leave a like. It helps me out a lot. And I appreciate all the subscribers. Thank you so much.